iOS 9 could seriously cripple support for legacy devices. WWDC kind of hints to an iPad stylus in the works, and it seems that Nest is going into the camera business. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, I apologize for the noise outside, guys. It is pouring rain here. But the show must go on. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today are kind of concerning as a new study conducted to some Samsung Gear smartwatches that are not Android Wear and LG smartwatches that are Android Wear are apparently not getting encrypted data, meaning if you get an email forwarded to your smartwatch, that information is not encrypted and can be pulled in its entirety from the smartwatch, which is definitely a security issue uh, so long as somebody's actually intending to look for the stuff on your watch. Just make sure nobody steals it. And as Google I.O. ended, we were clear that Google takes the Internet of Things seriously up to the point that there is Project Brillo, Weave, and other protocols to make this work. And uh, some reports claim that apparently Nest is bringing a new camera. And the company acquired Dropcam a few months ago, uh, but we haven't seen the results of this. And it seems that the company's uh, event next week is actually to launch the next or the Nest Cam. Uh, their next Nest Cam, I know. Uh, but yeah, it seems that this product is coming. We're not exactly sure what's going to be cool about it, but stay tuned. Now, some interesting developments have surged with iOS 9 at WWDC. The event is still happening in San Francisco. And as it turns out, it seems that iOS 9 has this new tool that allows developers to not support legacy devices that are running a 32-bit processor, meaning if you currently have an iPad 2 or an iPhone 4S or an iPhone 5, and these don't have a 32-bit processor, this application may not be available to you in the App Store, which is really interesting. It makes the job easier for developers as uh, they build powerful stuff for powerful devices, but it does mean that you should probably upgrade now. Now, other interesting developments in iOS 9 are the fact that it now supports predictive touch, which interestingly is the technology you need for a stylus to work on it. Uh, so yeah, it does seem that Apple is working on a stylus. We've seen patents, we've seen any everything, but now that we see the code, now that we see Apple's new Notes application supporting Doodles, I guess we know where things are going. And finally, for the very interesting rumors of the day, we've got more details on the Galaxy Note 5. Uh, we're still ambiguous with the reports of a 4K display, but these are heard again. But uh, it seems that Samsung will jump the gun to USB Type-C with the Galaxy Note 5, in addition to the fact that the company plans to bring a whopping 4100 milliamp hour battery to this device are definitely great news. Uh, we sadly haven't heard more of what to expect for the Galaxy Note lineup, but we should learn more at EFA, which is happening in the next couple of months. And it does lead me to the question of the day. Uh, what would Samsung need to bring to the Galaxy Note 5 for you to want to acquire it? Because in my case, it would be the fact that they don't change the mentality. Leave the replaceable battery, leave the expandable storage, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below as your case. Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.